hello guys welcome back so in this video we are going to create a draw menu using jetpack compose so without further ado let's get started okay now here we can create a new composable file which we are going to hold up the composables and here we are going to call this component so inside here now we can try to call all of our components in order to get our draw menu and we can create a new composable and this one we are going to call my draw menu and now here we can use our model drawer and as you can see here we have the drawer content where we have to pass in our contents and inside here now we can pass a lambda function which you can easily use so here we have the place for draw content and inside these two curly brushes here we can try to pass in the content of the screen so here we pass in only the mode drawers and also we have an optional way here to pass the state and here we have a way which you can control this state here now in order to control this state here we can create a new variable and we can use here a remember drawer state and we have to pass in the initial value and here we have the drawer value and we can start because we are going to start to close and this one is going to be logically because we want to start with the screen which is not opening the drawer menu and now we can try to put this on a separate line here. Now we can pass in here our state. Okay, now basically here we have to create a draw menu. And the draw menu contains a place where we have to show a header and a place where we have to show the content of the of the body of the screen. So we can create here a new composable which is going to hold up the contents of this draw menu. Now let's create here a little room and we can create a new composable and then this one we are going to call the header. Now inside here we can try to create our header. Okay now here first we have to pass in a default parameter and here we are going to call this modifier so basically here we are passing a modifier so that we can easily reuse it inside here so for example if you want because this modifier is going to be scoped and as you can see here we have the scope the column scoped so we can just use the weight here in order for example to just align this and use it wherever we want so for our case we are going to pass in here a modifier and this is the recommended way of using a modifier inside the composables now after that here we can create our column so because we have our header here is going to be in a column format and and basically here we are going to pass in the vertical arrangement and we are going to arrange this to the center and also we have our horizontal arrangement and also this one we are going to align it center horizontally and we can pass in here our modifier and assign this to a modifier which we have specified up there now here we can pass in the icon so for example here we are going to pass in the icon with image vector and we can use the icons library here to get the icons and we can get the for example here pass on and content description we can pass in here null now after that here we can create a little bit of spacer and for that case here we can pass in a space of 4dp now after that there we can create a text and here we can pass in a string and we can call this my and we can call this my account so basically here we have finished to create our header now we can navigate back here to our drawer content and we can pass in here our header and here we can create a modifier and we can pass in here of 16 dp now after that here now we can create our body now we can navigate down here and we can create here another composable okay now inside here the body we want to create the way which we can navigate for example to other screens because the model drawer is used for navigation and for this case here now we can create our classes here so we can just navigate up here First we can collapse this and create a little room here and 
for example here we can create an enum class and this class here we are going to call it for example items and now inside here we can create parameters so we have a label parameter and this one is going to be of type string and also we have the icon for example here to represent the icon of this navigation of this screen here now we can pass in here the image vector now here we can create several screens so for example we have our home screen and here basically we can pass in the label and also we can change this one to be favorite okay now here we have our screens okay now we can navigate here and come here to our body content and here inside our body content we have to pass in the items so we are going to pass in the items which we are going to use them so here we are going to pass in the list of items and also here we want to react to the click so that we can reset or we can navigate so we can call this on click and basically here we can pass in the items so that we can use it later now after that here now we can create a column in order to structure here our code and here basically we can pass in the modifier and here we can pass in the modifier for 8dp now inside here we can use our items and we can use the for each action here and basically here we can use a row and here we can pass in the modifier now we want to react here when the modifier has been clicked so we can pass in the on click item here and we can invoke this callback and we can pass in here the item which here is going to be referenced by it now we have here our scope and here we can pass in the icons and here basically we have to add the val keyword because we had forgotten so we cannot reference it so here we can pass in the icon which we have passed and here in the content description we can pass this to be null now we can create a little bit of a spacer here and here we can pass in a spacer of 8dp now after that here now we can create a text and here we can pass in the label which we have created now we can create a little bit of a spacer here between the items which are going to be created and here our size is going to be 8dp now for that case here we have our body now we can navigate there inside and so below the header here now we can pass in our body now for the case here of the body we can use the items which are going to be clicked here and we can create a we can convert this to values so we are going to convert this and we can make it to list and basically this on click the item so we can pass it as a lambda function so we can reuse it here by using a win statement and react differently so we are going to pass in here a win statement and we are going to pass it here okay now we have to create other states which we are going to use them so for example here we want to create a scope which we are going to change the states because this one is going to be launched inside the curatin so we have to get the scope and here we can call it remember curatin scope and basically here we are getting the scope and also we can pass in here a text and we can use a by keyword here
So here we have a mutable state of string which we are going to display it inside our and we can change this to be a val keyword for example. So we are going to use this text here and change it inside our main our main screen and we can pass in here the text and we can reinitialize this. So here we have several states. So for example here Okay, so basically here we are going to reassign this text to what has been selected and we can show it inside our, our main screen. And for that case here now we can use the scope here. And basically here we can use the scope and we can call the draw and we can launch the scope. And basically here we are going to close our state. Now let's jump inside here. So now we have here our place to pass in the contents because this one is going to be our model drawer. So we can try to collapse this for example. So inside here now we can pass in the body. Okay, now here we can pass in a column. And here inside the column we can pass in the modifier. And we can fill the max size. And we can make this fill horizontally. And also we can pass in the vertical arrangement. And also we can center this to the center. Now here we can pass in a button. And here now we can use the scope. So basically here we are using the state and we want to trigger the opening of this state. And here now basically we can pass in a text. And here we can create another text which we are going to reassign this to what has been selected there. And we can pass in here our text. Now basically here we have finished to create our drawer. Now as you have seen here we have used just this model drawer and let's jump here inside our main activity and inside here now we can call our my drawer menu. Now let's try and run our application and see the output. Okay, now the app is launched here and we can try now to click this button here. And as you can see, it's going to bring up the mode drawer. And here we have our header. So for example, you can change this to another background or anything which you, which you want. And here basically we have our buttons and we can click here for example. And this one is going to initialize this value and pass in here home. And also we can click again here and we can open. So here we can navigate to another, another screen. So if you want to know how you can easily use the navigation, just drop a comment down below and I will create a video where you can easily navigate from when you click this and you can hook up the navigation in order to navigate to other screens. So guys, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to provide a like and subscribe for more video. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now. Thank you.